Thanks for tuning in. Craig Burke here from Tenable. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can use Tenable.ad to monitor permissions or in sensitive organizational units. But before we get into the video, let's outline the problem a little more. Many organizations have created custom organization units within their Active Directory environments that store objects like service accounts or mission critical infrastructure components. We need to ensure that the permissions on these organizational units are appropriate and remain sane. Illegitimate permissions on these OUs can open up AD attack pathways that can lead to lateral movement and escalation of privileges within your Active Directory environment. To get a better understanding of this, let's actually open up Active Directory users and computers and look at the OU structure. So here you can see that I created an OU IAM, and I have several sub OUs, group, server, and service accounts. And under here, you can see that we have some sensitive groups, the servers themselves for my identity and access management infrastructure, my federation server, or SSO, my provisioning server, and my privilege access management server. And I have an OU called service accounts where I have um, a service account that has elevated rights within my IAM infrastructure. So we want to make sure that those permissions remain sane and, and no one can actually go in and change those and get access to something they're not supposed to have to. So let's go into Tenable for AD to see how we can actually uh, monitor this. So let's open up the platform. So the first thing we're going to come to is our indicators of attack. Oh, I'm sorry, indicators of exposure. And we're going to go into domain controllers managed by illegitimate users. By default, this IOE is only going to look at the domain controllers OU, but we can actually modif modify this so that it can, we can put in other sensitive OUs. To do any modification to an IOE, first of all, what you're going to need to do is create a custom profile. To create a custom profile, we're going to come under the Accounts tab, go to the Security Profiles Management tab, and then if you didn't have a custom profile, we click on Create Profile. And then in the dropdown, we would say Copy Profile from Tenable. And here I would say something like My Org, and then click Create. In my case, I actually have a couple of custom profiles, and the one we're going to work with today is Custom 2. So I'm going to open up my Custom 2 profile. And now I'm going to look for the IOE domain controllers managed by illegitimate users. And here we have it. And remember, by default, this IOE would have only the domain controllers, but here I've added the OU IAM. And the one thing I want to call out here is we're using domain syntax here as well. So you can see with the domain under the curly brackets. And what this allows us to do is include all sub OUs. So if you wanted to only monitor a single OU, you would just add, hit the plus sign, and then just add in the DN of that single OU. And then what you're going to do is click on Save as a Draft. And then down here, we're going to hit Apply Pending Customization. And then you will click on the red OK to actually enforce this. Now that we've got the new custom two profile updated. What we want to do is switch over to that profile. And then we're going to come into the indicators of exposure. And to demonstrate this, so let's go in back into Active Directory's users and computers. And what I'm going to do now is actually modify the permissions on this OU. So we're going to go in and add bad intentions to this OU, and we're going to go ahead and give them full control. Now we're going to go back over to Tenable for AD, and sure enough, you can see we got an alert. And if we come in here and refresh our Tenable for AD, and come back into the domain controllers managed by illegitimate users. We're going to click on the Deviant Objects tab. And what we want to focus on is organizational unit IAM. And then we're going to drill down in those permissions. And sure enough, you can see 
then we have some permission, unsafe permissions where bad intentions have full control over that OU, which could lead to um, lateral movement within your organization or escalation of privileges if they, those service accounts have any rights so they can actually take over your active directory. Let's see what it looks like in Trail Flow as well. So here we're gonna open up Trail Flow and you can see the path here is IAM. And we can come over to the deviances and we'll come down here and you'll see again that bad intentions was entered and we have a new alert. And this is something that we would need to address. So again, we, this is how you can actually change and modify one of the existing IOEs, domain controllers um, managed by illegitimate users to monitor those custom organizational units um, that you've created within your organization that have sensitive objects. Mm -hmm.